Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another Song of Ice and Fire Battle Report. Uh, we're doing a bit of a Thrones Thursday, so we're moving these games across to, to a Thursday night just to free up your entertainment watching. So right now, Liam and myself, we're getting ready to, to throw down in a Game of Thrones. So we're just working out the deployment of the objectives and things like that. Uh, now today's list, we've got some free folk against Starks. There will be a little bit of proxy. I mean, as you can understand, with demand being what it is, we don't have access to all of the units that we'd like to. Uh, however, we've got a bit of a different free folk list today, so only eight activations versus a classic Stark 10. So if we jump straight in, the commander here is Steer, and he's in a unit of followers of Bone. So giving them go down fighting and stalwart. He's also then got two units of free folk raiders, just to be a bit of chaff. We've got some followers of the bone with the Weeper. So again, horrific visage. So every time you charge followers of bone, you're taking a morale test before you can do anything. Uh, and then rattle shirt in the Bone Lord's Chosen. So doing it this way makes them a 10 point unit instead of an eight point unit with the rattle shirt as a commander, but it frees up some other cards. Again, we've got that second unit of free folk raiders as we mentioned before, just a little bit of chaff. And then these are the three NCUs, you Gret, Crasta and Mance Raider. So three good choices, a lot of card draw, uh, a lot of token output, some healing uh, and also the ability to turn off some units. So for the Starks, we've got Stark Swan Swords with Bran and Hodor, which is pretty standard. I mean, Bran and Hodor are great, probably better in Great Axes. We have another unit of Stark Swan Swords with Osha and Rickon, so making sure that we get access to both of those wolves. We've then got you guessed it, Rob in a unit of Umber Berserkers, so making them speed 7, having the ability to pivot before you march, all those wonderful things. We've got the three wolves, because I mean, why wouldn't you leave home without the three wolves? Then we've also got Brendan Tully in a unit of Umber Berserkers, so this is good because it makes them stalwarts, so it gives them a 2 up morale, and then when they start engaged, they can do a lot more damage, so realistically, and you'll hear me mention this later, he works best on destroyed units. Then we've got Howland Reed, Roderick Cassell, and Caitlin Stark for the three NCUs. Please enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe. Yeah, cool. I'm okay with that. Uh, Alright, and then we dice off for science. <laughs> oh, does he roll a six? No, no, I roll a three. I'm going to choose tunnel. Okay, yeah, cool. Um, Alright, well then, in that case, I think I'll take this side and start deploying. Oh. That's the right one? Yeah, it's coming around. I'll make a free maneuver or a tree action. NCU. Restore D3 wounds. Uh, force one to come into a So the, have you versed the black, which is an attachment before? No. Okay, so he's quite cool. Essentially what he does is he really works on destroyed berserkers. Yep. So he gives them plus two morale, and then he can flip an order called hold the line, and so if they begin engaged, they gain plus one to hit and plus two attack dice. So if they're in their last rank, they're on the top ones. Nice. And then if you decide to do that with Roderick, like let's say you're engaged and he takes the swords, Vulnerable unit and they've got 12 attacks with three people. It's just like, it's crazy. That is a spicy, spicy meat. Welcome to my mind. Welcome well, like to it. my Stark mind. Sweet. Yeah. Right. Draw three. Three. That seems good. And I am definitely going first. Yeah. Because it's always the correct move. Let's go there. Let's go mad on those bros and put a panic and a weekend on them. Yeah, for sure. Did you, oh, I'm guessing you're already recording. Uh, yes, that's, that's, yeah, that is what you're doing. Yes, I'm already recording. Okay, cool. So we'll take Howland, of course. 
Oh, and I draw two cards. Yes, and you draw two cards. Um, we'll put Howland on the Bone Lords chosen. They want attacks? I think they want to hit. They want to hit. Uh, and then these guys, these four, we're just going to trundle forward seven good old inches. Ah, oh, minus one speed, so it's not six. six. Are they speed seven base? They speed six base. Oh, that's wrong. wrong. Yeah, it's the plus one. Yep. Alright, let's go. The old Craster. And let's go. Here. And, uh, actually, no, let's go to Ugrat there. Yeah. Ugrat there. Choose to do either turning off an NCU or choose to turn off the attachment. So it's a defensive tech. That's quite cool. Yeah, yeah. So that that's where you bring your right on a list like this. So you can, um, just, so you can just stop like um, turning off all abilities with all the and stuff like that. You can just be like, whoa, whoa! I'll take the wound, but calm down, buddy. I get all my abilities. Um, I'll take Roger and I'll go there. It's fine. I do nothing. boys. Alright, let's move to Wolf. So free six inch maneuver. Just off the edge. Trumble brain up to ten. Mm -hmm. That's it there, I think. Yep. I'm done. Cool. Is it weird? 
needed to be uh, activated by. It doesn't, it's not really, because you will probably out-activate 90% of free focus. That's true. Because nine is basically where they, their sweet spot is. Um, so he's just going to pivot slightly ahead of March, because that's what he can do. Yeah, 100%. I like what he does, but at the same time, so if his ability is not to claim it, so I'm okay with this. Uh, and then, just going to pivot and march to six. Bring himself to march there. And then this guy is just going to move up 18. Yeah. Cool. And that yeah. is everything. Yeah. Discarding any cards? No, I'm, I'm not discarding any cards either. Okay, cool. I think we do. I think we kick this stuff off. Now the question is, who do I kick it off with? Rob's unit will now decode a charge because they can when they're targeted by the horse. Yep. And they're going to play devastating impact. When friendly unit charges, we reroll their charge systems, deal plus two automatic hits if I control the horse. They count as six of the charge and then plus two automatic hits. Yeah, cool. Um, and so. Should, I think I should go into those guys. Because even though you've got set for charge and they have to take a morale test and still lose your four, you should be good. Um, and then you'll have to take a leisure test as well, so it'll take two wounds. So 100 you? Yep. I think. No, 50 50 either way. Cool. Yeah, that's good. Alright, uh, any, anything to play? Any yeah. Set for like charge. Perfect, go for it. So, three, six, seven, eight. Yep. You become weakened. Yeah, cool. I figure they're just drunk when they play, like when they go to battle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, so ten dice. Uh, take a penalty test. One to one. If you're attacking me now. Sure. Yeah, that's rough being negative three and still... They're, yeah, they're warrior sons basically with worse answer. Um, so hitting on threes, re-rolling, and then obviously weakened. Okay, so that is eight yes, hits. Oh, we're make you re-roll that. Uh, six at six. minus one. Two, four, six. Does that have thundering as well? Yeah, and then you took two wounds from the start. Why do I take two wounds? For a devastating impact. Okay. Uh, Three. Cool, cool, cool. Wait, what's the um, answer? Four plus. So they're minus oh. one. Yeah. Four. Four. Yeah, cool. Perfect. Uh, no, yeah, that's right. And then just a morale test. Uh, minus. No, no minus. Did you write stuff? They're good. <coughs> cool. Okay. Uh, I am going to play.
I'll be honest, I didn't even think of that. I was lucky. I just didn't want to get charged with the side. Yeah, we were very raised. lucky not to just lose your unit then. Passing that morale test. Because yeah. you have cutting down as well, yeah? Yep. You take six wounds. Ah, uh, six hits from when you or me taking six wounds. Okay. Yep. Cool. Uh, you're at negative one because you're within short range. Okay. Sorry, I did. Uh, I thought that was the other one. That's okay. So six hits on six is one hit. Yeah, cool. Six hundred. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Um, and then going on the sword. Ah, uh, going on the sword. Putting mance on there. Yeah. Putting the panicked. I'm gonna do my seven attacks. Mm -hmm. Four, six, seven. Still an attack. Everything on the fire. Oh. Still an attack. Still a freeze. Take four. Oh, the unit's probably dead. Five. Ah, uh, not the unit, the life. One wound. Yep. Hunter tells us minus three. They are uh, failed, they're okay. dead. Wait, why is it minus three? Vicious. And corpse fire. So he has vicious and cut him down. Correct. So I I heal two wounds. Yep. So ten point unit. Mm -hmm. They have. Uh, I'll show you what they've got. So the unit has vicious. They've got horrific vicious. Whenever you attack this unit, you can make panic tests. Mm -hmm. They also have cut them down. Okay. What the bridal short does? It has prey on fear. So I heal two wounds uh -huh. when you oh, pass so the right? Um and I have one sword. Gotcha. So when you take the swords, you can make a bridge on Yep. So I'm then going to... Go on Hodor's unit. Mm -hmm. Would you like to just go apart at random? 
Ah, uh, no, that's okay. Uh, and I will heal three wounds. So, let's return off of the other way, which is fine. They're going to sit down and do nothing. So let's move these guys, I think. Oh, actually, these guys. Uh, and we will play. No, we won't. Well, that's a battle. So I also messed up because you went 50 50 here. Mm. I think you were out of range, but you might have been to make your reroll. Your first panic test. Oh, know. right. Yeah. yeah. No, I keep forgetting that I can do that, but I wasn't sure after the fact because I'm pretty sure you were out. No, 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 that's okay. But I keep forgetting he's got that. Yeah, it's, uh, that's the thing, when I play with stuff that I don't generally play with, I forget about all the things I can do yeah. until after the stuff happens and you think, ah. Yeah. Like uh, yesterday's game with Liam. So you're activating him. Yep. Is that crap stuff? Mm -hmm. Draw a card. Mm -hmm. And I will do a little move. Uh, actually, I'm going to do nothing. Yeah. <laughs> That's very fair. Let me just have to do a to kill that unit though. No, I didn't either. Not with the amount of stuff that but you could do. But then I realised I had... What's that? With the amount of stuff that you could do. Yeah. yeah. I didn't expect final strike and things. But it was good though. Like it was a, it was a good combo. Which is what I like. And this is why... Well, I'm that's like, what this is sort of designed for. If you charge me, you die. No. That's sort of the, 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 the theory behind it. Yeah. Is you charge me, you will die. Oh, and that's why I want to run that um, kind of thing where it's just like, okay, cool. This is, yeah. A story of a girl? Sort of. It's kind of like a... Um, that's why I want to run that thing where you just kind of make these lists that are all sort of put together. Yeah. Because <clears throat> I think this is optimised in the sense that it's got 10 activations. Pivot? Yeah. And let's turn off your dude. Let's do that. 
So we'll activate this unit. Mm -hmm. Place for commit. Yep. Uh, so basically, they're going to free move. Let's just move it. Yep. They're going to move up seven inches. Yep. Oh, it's gonna happen again. It's gonna happen again. Oh, I don't want to be quick. That's okay. Uh, and then they will declare a charge. So they're in anyway, because their base moves seven. Yep. Because um, that oh, gives you minus one, doesn't it? Of course, yeah, even if I roll one, I'm still in. Oh, because, why is that? Um, because my base move is six. Yeah. Okay, plus one for the horse makes it seven. Oh, seven did you do it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, um, so, so even so with the minus one for touching yeah. that, it's sixes, and I get to re roll any charge. Any charge dice. Yep. Uh, now, I can't remember. It's hindering. So hindering is minus one. Is it minus. One? Yeah, yeah. So, so two dice. It, it's basically a cult pile without, without minus. minus one. You're good. Um, okay, so I can only get into your front. Yep. So I'm taking a Marauders now at minus uh, one. Playing any cards? Uh, I don't know. I'm going to play a set for charge. Uh, yep, sweet. So, attacks. Take a four this time. They're hitting on fours, they're hitting on threes. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Nick one. So, just four. Yep, cool. Uh, uh, you also become weakened. Yeah. Because, Wait, you're, why is that? because you're within short range of seal. So they are weakened. Uh, now panic just at minus three. Six dudes. Oh no, it's not a fail. I've stole it. I'm plus two to my morale. So it's a morale test at minus one. That's fine. Why are you still at now uh, currently? Because of Brendan Tully. Are you still at always? Always. This unit gets plus two to morale. Ah, oh, so it's two plus two. Oh, I so it's a two plus two. So, yeah, you attack me, make it minus three. So basically, that's so, a five. So that's a six. So it's fine. So, yeah, so you can flip your order to so reroll this if you want. Uh, I think you have to reroll the whole test. I think. I mean, I was sort of happy with that in the sense that I was about to get 10 dice. The Weeper. They force that unit to reroll any dice for the test. Yeah, so I'll make you reroll the four. Yeah, cool. So four. Look, it, look, it's definitely worth doing it. No, I completely agree with you. Uh, eight dice. Uh, so hitting on the trees, re-rolling. So that is six hits so far. Uh, and I'm weakened. Yep. So do you want to re-roll out and re-roll Yeah, yeah, I'll use that. Uh, four hits. Four hits. Six up, could you have summer again? Right, yeah. So, pass two. Right. Two go down. Moral test. Yep. You pass. Uh, you, oh sorry, you have to take another morale test before attacking me, so you might get yeah. extra attacks. Cool, that's a really good point. But you, snake eyes, you need snake eyes. I do uh, need snake eyes, yeah. Um, well, I know, uh, oh yeah, because it's yeah. a minus one. Because it's, um, it's not vicious. Cool. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. So. Oh, did you want oh, me to reroll my You're panic. panicked, yeah, I'd like you to, I can't remember what you rolled, so just reroll. No. There we go, that's what I need. Both orders done. Alright. Uh, so they're done? Yeah, they both have activated. So I think if, if I'm understanding the rules correctly, you could do it in the sense that you would pivot, go to make contact, and then go to the other yeah, side. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. 
Yeah, because I can see you here. That's correct. But it's a big fucking charge. Yeah, but I go first, so I think I just delete that year. Um, in my next turn. I'm currently scoring two. Hodor's done. Hodor hasn't moved yet. No, 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 as in he doesn't have oh, his ability, so I yeah. don't get the D3 extra hits. You go to crit blow. It's still an okay charge for you to charge me. And you probably don't want to attack me because of, um, cut them down. So I think I'll just do that. Let's go. Pivot so that I can see you, so I don't need to go that far up. So I'll go to there so I can see you there in case you don't charge me. And that is Steer Dunsky. Cool. Alright. Ah, uh, and this one is no longer there. So there's a couple ways to do this. So all the main things about today, it's a lack of that summer. <coughs> so we'll move summer up. Yeah. So that make it's a free move. Move up just here. Mm -hmm. Charge. Yep. I can't fail, but at the same time, no, also not. Thing we do. So I'm just going to be here. Mm -hmm. uh, now, that I think the good part about this is that you don't lose an objective. Um, I don't drop it to you. Uh, so morale test. Yep. At minus, minus one. one. So you could just die here. I could if I rolled up one. That's not like that. You could just die here. <laughs> yeah, there's no point even rolling a D3 on the belt because it will just die. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's the, that thing is the right place. Um, so uh, two and then re-rolling. So two hits at minus one. So one, two. Uh, and then morale at minus two, two. No, take two more, three more. Three more. You take D three wounds. What's up? So what's Pierre's ability? To go down fighting. Go down fighting. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Yep. Yeah. Go down fighting. Uh, you take. It'll be D three because you control the swords. D three. Lucky. Oh, lucky. lucky. Very lucky. So you had a 66.6% .6 chance yes. of dying there. Yeah. And yeah. giving me a free objective point. Yes. Um, oh, cool. Damn, that's what I was hoping for. Yeah. Oh, you know, I was, I was looking at it and I was just like, yeah, that's cool. Um, so... How far away are these guys? Yeah. I don't know if I can find pivot. Basement 5. That's right. Um, so I'm going to play the second oh, with the Yep. Uh, I'll tell you about that one. So that's all I'd like to do. Essentially move between these two things. Yep. Basically going an inch away. Yeah. Uh, then I declare charge. Yep. Then we'll reroll that. Cool. Uh, I think. 50 50. And now I take a round 10 some minus one. Yep. Solution 6, go Solution 7. Just. Just. So there. I've failed two morale tests so far on... Oh, I nailed over there. Yeah, morale no. test was just like... Um, okay, cool. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so we're 8 dice. You would have lost a rank. I would have. I'm going to do... Yeah. You know? Yeah, I'm going to do it. Um, so, uh, we'll take D3, D3 wounds. So I'll take one wound. Yep. I'll just remove that now. Um, and I've got eight hits hitting on three, three rolling with crit thundering. Yep. Why do you get thundering? I'm not thundering to a crit line. Yeah. It's decent saying thundering. Um, cool. Ooh. So we're going to hang real all of these though. Monster! Ooh, that was terrible. There we go. That's still not great. Not great, great but not the worst. Five. Five hits. 
five up, so I take three. Perfect. You take D3, and then take, oh, yeah. and then take another D3 because of your thing. I did, I got a one. Oh, so I lost two there. Morales, and I'm good. Uh, what's the other shape? Five. Uh, because he gives him plus two morale. Yeah, okay, cool. Cool. Yeah. Ah, are those three dudes? Not that's anything. that's really twat that I've had go down fighting and I've rolled one. Like fucking useless. Yeah, that's harsh. <laughs> um, so uh, starting with the play his turn is I'm gonna do this. Uh, you can make something for over a retreat action. Which is fine. Um, I'm sure we're gonna go I want to um, let's go with, if I do this unit, it's on a six, because your yep. base run on seven, seven and plus two, plus two. one. Yep. Uh, so, we have this unit to use his order, so he's on the leadership seven. Yeah, it's true, let's do that, let's do it on the leadership seven. The attachment's still there, but the ability's gone. Isn't the attachment an ability? No. So if you use Waldo, it'll say attachments and abilities. Uh, Bruises card will say attachments and abilities. Um, it's good, like in the sense that. Oh, oh shit. If it doesn't turn off attachments, that's garbage. Why well, don't get. Nothing. It's wor worthless. I think it could flow, I yeah. Yeah, it's no, worthless. It's worthless. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's worthless. It's worthless. So, it's only when you're charging it's good to things, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, block these three hits. Yeah, okay. Well, that's, that's a little bit different. Look, I don't think a disordered charge is that bad of a thing, but you block D3 hits. Uh, with what? No, I don't block anything. With Hodor, if you do his order. No, no, I've reduced your attack dice by two. Oh, okay. I either deal an additional D3 hit, or I reduce his attack dice by two. Hmm. So you do one, two things. Like, you can charge, or you can take the swords, activate oh, the I probably guard. wouldn't have done the punch of the there, then. Probably. Um, let's go. <sighs> so harsh. All right. Let's believe. Let's believe in the bone. Yeah, I'm gonna just activate the bone lord. Do it. So are you activating him, or yeah, are you yeah. using the sword? Oh, using the sword. Yeah, yeah. fucking of course. Cool. I, for, I completely forget that he's got that ability. No, uh, right. Let's go panicked on them. Yep, that makes total sense. Uh, so I think at this point I will flip Brand's order, so it'll be disordered, yep. and you roll and make two dice. I can't fail. The no, you can't fail, but uh, yeah. yeah. Let's go hundred. Oh. I can't go that way. Let's just go there. That's fine. 
Uh, so two for six tacks. I think. I think three. Six for last three. So that's five. five. Uh, so five dice on five. Yep. I'm so sorry. Sure. Sure. Yep. These dice are swinging roundabout. Yep. These dice are swinging and roundabout. Okay, that was, that was incredible. Sure. Incredible. Yeah. Yours. All right. Uh, now that unit isn't just dead now. Five, five, five saves. Yeah, that's pretty brutal. Pretty brutal. Wow. And I've got nothing that can stop that. All right. No. Um, so I'm gonna take Roderick. Roderick on swords. On the horse. On the horse. Can I take Roderick here though? Plus one to the panic test, and then plus one for each destroyed range. No, so, no. plus two, two. minus two. So minus two. So we're going to do a one eight. Uh, 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 eight. Are they seven, uh, six, six space? They're so dumb for five points. They're, well, they're, yeah, it's the idea is that they're north and it's tough. I know, but they're so dumb for five points. Okay, so eight with a panic. If I fail, depending on how bad they are, roll. That's a seven. So I'm going to lose five people. Uh, I'm gonna make you re-roll the d3. Yep. For the pony? Yep. Cool. That's it. Because you, he has, who has cut them down? Doesn't matter, they're engaged. Cut them so down, down, cut them down. Yeah, they're engaged, so he has cut them down. Um, so that is a point. It's good, it's not, it's, it's glad that it's not just all the time. Uh, yeah, so basically hitting on two, critical but on six. There we go. So I've got my sixes. They're all threes and fours, just so everyone can see. Look, one, that's two. fine. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Four, eight. Eight, eight minus one. I need to pass two of these. I pass enough. Oh. oh, of course I pass enough. Oh. That sucks. Good. I'll take the point. Oh, take the panic dust. Ross, my god, for me. Oh, yep. Because I attacked you, right? Yep. No. Roll it again. Ah, uh, shocked. The, I'm guessing just the twos? Because you like the three? Yeah. 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 <laughs> At which point they're going to say for one? Five inches. Five inches! But they've activated, yeah? Uh, they have activated, yeah. Uh, it's probably just pivot. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, they've activated the new 
Let's go. Get your grit here. Mm -hmm. Seal three. Makes sense. Let's turn seal three and let's go. Is it turn three? Turn three, yeah. Because I, I went first. That's all right. Um, let's go there. Let's go you grit on. So these attachments, he's worth an extra grit two point, but then she ends yeah, up yeah. fighting. Gets rid of plus two morale. Yeah, let's go on there. Would you like to no. discard a card at random? No, thank you. You <laughs> seem to have good cards then! I have excellent cards. Alright. Um, okay, cool. So we'll take Howland and we'll pop him on the letters. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll replace the letters with Sun Judge. And we'll get these guys. And you, you'll kill the dog. Free you up. Yes, yeah, screw it. So you get these guys to charge here. Um, so two dice. Uh, and if I control the force, which I do, you become vulnerable. Okay. So I can't fail, just essentially not looking for that one or two. Yeah. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so eight dice now. Hitting on three as we roll in. Uh, okay, cool. So that is. Uh, oh, do you take a panic set uh, minus? Yeah, sure. I'll take minus minus one. one. Sorry, I should do that because I might get more dice. No, they they, they saw what you did to Rob, and now they're just mad. Yeah. They're not even scared anymore. They're just like, kill me, just two, kill four, me. Six. Oh, you're not hitting on twos anymore. No, I'm not hitting on twos. So two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine on. So do they still have crit blow? Uh, yeah, because of Robin. But you've already used your order. Well, no, the order just gives me plus one to hit and plus two dice. Oh. Yes. Uh, yeah. So you lost two ranks, and you control the swords. Yep. So you can drop D three now into either of the engaged units. Oh, uh, so I'll do. So this one's dead. So one of them's gone. Yep. And then off the D three in that case. Yeah, makes sense. Right. Um, but I guess it's surge four. Uh, and you know what? I can get onto that, and that's fine. Yeah, he's so yeah. Oh, yeah. Point. You score a single victory yeah. point. Three. Uh, yeah. Uh, which one? Oh, probably take these. Yeah, I'm gonna go attach because I get plus two. Yep. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go. And the sword! Makes total sense. So you bring the unit back on our letters. Because you bastard the horse as much as I do. Yeah, and that's what I like about when you get two armies that want the same zones. It's just, it's kind of fun, in my opinion. So you're going to do that and set up an NCU, which is fine. Um, so we'll activate Caitlyn and do nothing. Oh, I should have attacked Alan to someone, but they didn't get to anyway. Fine. Let's go. So that's what I should have done for turn one. I had seven charge on turn one. I should have taken the sword so that you didn't get the free attack. Yeah. And charge you on that. What's that time? Uh, with Rob, I yeah. targeted him with the horse, which is great, because he gets a free charge. But I had seven charge, I should have taken the swords, replaced it with seven charge so that way you didn't get to attack me back. For free. Yeah. Twice. Yeah. Yeah. So that was and that was my mistake. That's what that's what but happens. I nearly killed you outright anyway, mm -hmm. because of stuff. But the point this is, is actually a lot closer than I thought it was gonna be. This thing is legit when they don't have bows. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, just die. 
Just you seem uh, to have no bows. Well, yes, it's correct. <laughs> <laughs> that seems real good. <sighs> um. So I go into there. Stop me scoring two points. It's a relatively long charge. I'm scoring another at least one. Yeah. And you're scoring none oh, currently. He hasn't moved yet. So correct. So maximum you can score is two more points. Yeah. You are no longer Stuart, so it's a five up morale. Yeah, because you got your ground there. Yeah, yeah that's right. But then I get to go first next turn. That's fine, but then you're engaged and it's a unit of shit. <laughs> Rather than you just eating through and charging my it'll kill it. chosen and my wife. If you leave it on one rank, it'll kill it. Maybe. Next turn. I have a six up invoke. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> you you <laughs> underestimate <laughs> the six up invo on Raiders, my good sir. This is true. This is definitely And true. it wastes it a you then you either go on the swords, which I don't care that much about. And then I could probably kill Rickon. Yeah, probably. Which would probably end the game pretty close. So let's just do the, let's just, because that's all irrelevant. Let's go five. Let's just put it up there. Uh, let's turn off. Uh, let's turn off. The dude that gives me a negative one. Oh, Talon, that yeah. guy. Because I don't really care about your crit. Oh, do I care about crit blow? Oh, because that's how they got crit blow. That's how okay. Crit blow, yeah. It's not that one. It's the order. Yeah. So this is this is what I'm saying. Like, yeah, you're all yeah. You can start engaging with me, but if you get me down to a rank, I'm on ten attacks. I flip my order to make it twelve attacks. I'm hitting you on twos. I take Roderick on the swords. Give him crit blow. Yeah, I'm gonna stop Roderick. Yeah. Five. Oh, fuck that guy. That guy can be the dick. Yes, I'll take Roderick off. Yeah, I mean, seriously, like, Roderick is. Alright, and that's. Yep, cool, cool, cool. Um, so, what we're gonna do. Let's do this. So, we're essentially just gonna move this guy. Here's six. This guy's four. Here. Yeah. Pivot in and march under them to that, which makes the fleet in our yeah. And I'm just going to charge. Yeah, go for it. That's a two. That's a good again. I'm looking six. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's just go to there. My big six attacks. Here, here, here I come. Here I come. Here I come. <laughs> There we go. Four. Four. Look. Five. Fail. Uh, Three. Different. There we go. Morale test out. Look, minus. roundabouts, oh. right? I'm like, Round yeah, up. my raiders do more than a fucking unit of bone lords. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they still pass. Oh, okay. You son of a bitch. Yeah. That's fine, because I left you. That's less attacks. <laughs> they will survive. <laughs> so, we'll see. We'll see. Look, um, you underestimate six up invos. I do. I do. Alright, okay. Uh, and then essentially we're going to say this do. Uh, so let's go. One, two, pivot. Run up six. Pivot. And then it's just going to run onto this. Missing that. Yeah, missing that. Uh, because I obviously don't want to die. Mm -hmm. uh, and then. I don't think you can. Well, you can pivot over stuff, but you can't end the move on it. Same oh, with so the palisades and stuff. So it doesn't. I didn't think you could pivot over palisades. Yeah, you, so you can pivot, pivot through a palisade, but you can't end. So you can't put like a cornery base on it to walk around. So like if you've got a square base, I cornered a guy in a game because he just had to put a wolf up against it. And he's like, yeah, I want to pivot. So like, that's great. So you can go to one side or the other. It didn't really help him do anything. Yeah. It didn't go anywhere. That's fair. Uh, but I think leaving that there is fine. So it doesn't matter. Think. You're a dog. Who cares? Uh, I'll activate. Right, that's activated. You're all out right now. Um. So now my decisions are as follows. Charge me! Do I charge you or do I run you away? I mean... Eh, sure, why not? 
Um, so these are the charge, and I will play Wicked Crook, you can't use orders or tapping cards this turn. Draw a two, so I should be in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd like to be within six. Cool. Um, so we'll bring it over our lake, Brand is dead. Blah! Uh, we'll Pony test! Take him around to minus one. Minus one! Come on! No! Seven, it's just what I did. Come on. Uh, now we'll take D3 wounds from Stark Crew. Two. God damn it. Five point units. That's why I'm like, I want to play Stark. They're so fucking dumb. It's so five, dumb. For five <laughs> points, it's retarded. No, they're amazing. Join the high train. So threes re-rolling, man. Okay, so uh, two, two, four, yeah, five, six, seven, nine, two, yeah. two four, six, eight, ten. Yeah. Wow. How mm -hmm. many kill? A lot. Oh, six. I was unlucky. Oh. Oh, four sixes there. Yeah. Uh, and then Morales is a minus one. So I score two victory points. Now you... I score one. I score one. Um, I get to put D3 dudes back when you score points from this objective and I get to make something like a panic test. So... You have to take a panic test as well? Go for it. Oh, yeah. Is that when you're controlling it? When you score. Ah, oh, okay. So, you're so, not scoring. Scoring. so there's, a, there's a couple ways to do this. Because I control the panic test one here. Could, if I'm lucky, force you to take a panic test. Let's say you drop four dudes, that then puts us on two ranks each, which means I would then control it, and then I'm going to take a panic check for two. Oh, I go first. So I did order of things. Well, you choose, you resolve your one first, then I resolve my one. Oh, resolve okay. the other one. So your resolve yeah. doesn't happen. Isn't it all resolve. simultaneous? No. Are you sure? Yeah. Because it happens before you remove cards as well, so things like regret would still be there, which means I wouldn't get a plus two. So it's just like a, because that's how you use Walder to stop things from doing stuff. Sure. Uh, but I'm not going to do that because that's really gaming. I don't think that's do it. No, I want these assets. Oh, wow. Take two. Take two. So you know they're leadership five, right? Yeah. They're a fucking 10-point unit. That's why I did it. They're uh, a 10-point <laughs> fucking unit. Uh, and then I'll get these guys to heal D3. Hopefully putting them back on. Yeah, that's good. Two is back. All right. Unbelievable. Cool. Uh, so I'm just going to go for this. I have no cards. <coughs> Alright, so what we're going to do, you turn off my critical blow, which is quite a blow. Uh, we're going to take Caitlin on the swords. We'll attack Caitlin here. Which means they get 10 attacks, and I flip their order to make it 12. So it's on attacks, hitting on twos. Yeah, it's on attacks Uh Oh, that's lucky you didn't have That would have been tall. But 10 at minus one. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Let's see if I can roll about average for armor uh, stage. Do it. There we go. Seven. So I take seven guys. So I can't lose the unit. No. Seven guys. Maybe I do. Maybe you do. Maybe you do. Let's go. So the way I see it, you've got two choices. If you're playing around with Cruster, which means you probably want to take the money back. You put wounds back in here or here, probably here. I don't care about the Raiders. Yeah, so you definitely want to put wounds back in here. But. Let's go there. Yep. Let's heal two wounds. Draw a card. Yeah, because I was going to say, don't, <laughs> don't put them all there. Alright, wounds are good. Um, all right. 
cool. So we'll take Helen Reed on the letters. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll weaken these guys. Yep. So fun fact, and I was doing this wrong the whole time. I used to then pivot my unit, but you can't. You can't kill it. Correct. I just uh, blend rules together, just like I barely blend. You don't like that. That's what I was asking about, like the the thing we were talking about a second ago. Yeah. Whatever it was, I was like, oh. Yeah, no, it's very like it's very. Because I've killed. Cool. Three of these three. units. Yeah. Quite uh, expensive units, but the dog almost doesn't count. But the 17 points worth of stuff is still Let's go. Let's go. Uh, Let's go. Uh, do it or I die. Let's go switch the mats. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I'm going to play when an enemy combat unit activates. Yeah. I'll play Bog Devil Ambush. They just suffer D3 plus 2 hits. Okay. 3. So you suffer 3 hits. Okay. Okay. Uh, Bog Devil Ambush. Oh, <laughs> I can't believe oh, I got gosh. four hits on three re-rolls yeah. and you've rolled five saves and you're skinning your teeth every skinning single Skinning my teeth on this. <coughs> on the everything. Is, they've activated. Yeah. So you're they're now. skinning your teeth on everything. That's alright. How is he not dead? So... It's right, he'll probably die when I attack you. <laughs> no, because you're still up. Uh, alright. So let's go with... Like I thought that was a really good play, and I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna kill that unit. I need to do five wounds to you. No, I think that was the right play. Like, I'm lucky that you failed the morale test, but that was. Yeah. But, like. Oh no, that's fine. <laughs> the dog's not dying earlier, it's just like, oh. Um, so this guy's gonna move. Sure. He's gonna move. Uh, so he's like this. Yeah, I'm like, what are you moving? Because I can do, but the dog's just, uh, so I'm not going to activate the dog, I'm going to activate these guys here. Yep. So, morale test? Yep. Minus one. Uh, yep. Minus 
What are we going to do? Fail. So, so I traded these dice for magic beans. Uh, so I'm going to take D3 automatic hits from uh, Thing Duke. Uh, automatic win, should I say? One, two, three. Four, like you've rolled a one every time this game. I've been quite lucky on that. I stole Ado's one. And I've rolled a one every time for D3 on you as well. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, been, it's been incredibly bad luck. Um, Alright, cool, yeah, so hitting on three, no really rolls. Uh, okay, so two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine on four ups. Again, I Ooh. roll below average. Like, you can't just keep rolling below average on every dice roll. Or am I exaggerating? No, no, no. Like, Anyway. I, I find that I roll with factions. Uh, so I just roll bad. Oh, hang on. Did you want me to? Because we can reroll all of this. I got a panic token. Did you want me to reroll the uh, five and a three? Oh yeah. Five and a three, and I was taking I think one. One. Or two. No, I'll make you reroll the whole lot. Yeah. Cool. It's like that's re-rolled. full. Yeah, it's been very. Anyway. Very um, is that it? Uh, yeah, that's it. I'm gonna pull, activate Bone Lodge Unit, regroup and reform. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna put it here, put six suits back. Six total sets. Like, did, like, you shouldn't be doing this much damage. <coughs> no. And you should be dying to morale, like, on average. Uh, two, four. Uh, so you, six, there should be one more. Three, six, seven, eight. <laughs> There we go. No, it's still like that's, six, that's six, average. Six, that's average though. Three. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I'm getting excited about rolling perfect average. So six back on fours. Yep. And you fail one. Uh, and then so you take D three wins because I control the fourth and I go down fighting. Yep. Uh, so you take two. Is yours on the horse, not the Oh, on the sword, sorry, should I say? No, I got it, sorry, I meant I'm looking at cards out of the horse. Um, I think just a minus three. Mm. Like, you just pass five out of six. Yeah, well, like, well, again. Well, 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 anyway. So. Oh, I'm actually doing this as well, if I can. Yeah, sure, totally makes sense. Um, so I rolled a nine. Uh, so is it minus three? Yeah. Wow. Um, Alright, well we'll activate these back then. Yeah. So we've got ten attacks. Well, ten because they're on ten. One, two, three. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Charging, hang on, hold up. Oh, yeah, that one. Yeah, later. No, you're gonna pass. Yeah. There you go. You, you can't roll below, like, I had everything. Uh, you... I had the double white of my line. I thought this is what was gonna happen. No. Um, right, cool, cool, cool. Uh, then I guess you're activating that unit. Yep. Man. So, I'll play this for unseen. I think damage and reactivates, and it's like a panic test that's, and stuff a neg one to their roll, but it's short. <clears throat> like D3 or roll 3. Yeah. Do you want to switch D3? Um, okay, cool. So. Alright, uh, so me. Because uh, so activate, 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 activate. Uh, so I'm going to get. Yeah, he's just going to sit there and do nothing. Um, so I'll get him. This one here to make me because I think I'm lost. 3. And I go to the so it's at minus two. Like. Anyway. 
Oh, actually, no, I'm going to heal D3 first. So, fair. Well, not just, you've got a few plus morale. Yeah, but then it's minus two, minus three. Yep. Um. <sighs> Activate this unit. Let's go there. Yep. Yep. Pull those here. Pull those back. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable that I actually kill four dudes, which kills the unit. Goes again. Six, seven, uh, take six. Uh, so six and fives. No, it's it. Three and six. Um, so I'm going to play the Norse for members. Yep. And put D3 units back into here. Start Fury, take three. Frank Tust, minus one. Taking half another <coughs> seven up morale. There you go, take six dudes. There we go, five, six, that's fine. Um, so you lose, here's the problem though, because I control the swords, you lose two D3 worth of mobs. Yeah, that's fine. And if I probably need to fix them. Look, six. look, I did the same thing to you yes. with my cup here turned down. Yes. Um, did the exact same thing. 2d3. Uh, 8 dice on 3. Why do you still have 8 dice? Because of Kaden. Oh, okay, yep. Yeah. Uh, so that would be 8 hits. Because 2, two six, We're up. Do it. I think I got him just. Uh, no, 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 I did four. Four, you did four. Yep. So now you have to take a morale test. Minus one. Which is good. Man, that was, that was intense. That was intense. When I dropped that many dudes, I was like, holy cow. I can't, I die if I kill you, correct? Correct, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you kill him, you will die. There is nothing you can do with it. And then essentially, so you'll get the point. Heal. Yeah. Heal three. Uh -huh. Put you back up there. They're back up. Oh, no, they, they went on swords. Oh, they went on swords. Oh. So do you want to go on there? Or do you want to... What are you going to do? Have you got an endless sword in your hand? No. Maybe. Now, if I kill you with morale, do I take D3? Yeah, any time I lose rank. <sighs> no. So each time a rank in this unit is destroyed, one enemy engages with it suffers one wound. So, it's, uh, so when Liam... That's why Liam put it in... What's his face? Do I kill you? <laughs> That's the thing, do you activate and kill me? Do you do other things? Like, there's a bunch of stuff you can do. Well, you get 10 attacks, so I just die. 8, eight attacks. 8 attacks, yeah, but I just die. Yeah. So I have to do it. 8 attacks with critical, uh, critical error and then no loss of life. Yeah, I'm just going to do it. I think I'm going to 6 attacks. Last oh, rank. If I was chosen, yeah, like that, it'll be 6 or 5. 6. Three, four, six stacks. That's where he's gonna swing. Oh, three hits. Three hits. Oh, 
Yes. Yeah. 